mark the occasion, I thought it would be beautiful, really, really nice to make a beautiful soap cake. Now, I, I kind of want to make wedding soap cakes, so this was kind of my foray into that, and I hope you enjoy it, and uh, maybe it inspires you to make something pretty too. So come on into my soapy kitchen while we make Sakura soap cakes. So this has been bubbling on the stove. Uh, for quite some time now, and it's starting to gel. So I'm going to give it another stir. Now I did use the stick blender once it became um, fluid enough for that. So, so far so good. It seems to be working. Let's give it a little stick blender. So I don't want whip soap, but I do want every little bit of that. I'm just going to go around the edges and do a visual check and make sure that everything is in my pot. Alright, so I've got soap now that I can work with. fluid soap and I'm going to put in the rest of that yogurt because this was half of the yogurt so I'll go ahead and proceed as if this was a hot process fluid soap okay and I also need to add in more sodium lactate okay, put those two ounces in two tablespoons in We want our bars nice and hard, and because it's been rebatched, it might have hardness issues. So we're just going to keep it warm. That's some soap that I. I've got a few things of soap in here. I just added. Should probably give it another whir. I'm going to put this back on the oven and this soap gets hard to the touch within a few minutes of cooling. I'll know that my soap is ready. It is still quite taffy like and soft and I don't want it to be sitting in um, uh, my molds soft and then do the weird shrinkage thing that happens when you have too much water in your, in your soap. So I'm going to let this evaporate a bit. I'm going to actually take the lid half off and turn the heat down and we'll leave it for a couple hours. All right, so we'll see you when I get back. All right, so I gave it another hour. And as you can see, it's even more fluid. Um, we're going to be making a cherry blossom cake with this. So I want to make sure, oops, we'll be piping it later. But we're going to pour the layers with this. Look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and give it another blend just to make sure there are no small pieces. See 
how fluid and beautiful that is. This could actually could do some swirling. Um, and I'm gonna do, yeah, I'm gonna do something really pretty with this. I hope you guys like it. Pink and brown and blue actually for my cherry blossom. So like a yeah, every all over all over the place here right now. The cherry blossoms are in full, full bloom. So actually that's pretty hard. So I'm look it's looking really good. Alright, so for the first bit of the soap, we're going to start my um, cherry blossom heart because I use the heart shape for all my favorite products. That's what we're going to do for this one. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so for the first color, I'm going to use Steph, my, Steph's Micas and More um, Turquoise Green Mica. And that's what I'm using for this. I'm just going to mix that in a little bit of oil and then we'll pour the bottom. Okay, so I'm not sure exactly how much soap I'm going to need and how dark it needs to be, so I'm just going to take out what I think I need for the bottom, which will be our first layer. And I'm going to get my fragrance. I'll start with the color. Put that color in there. I'm going to use half of it because I'm probably going to do two. Ooh, that's pretty. Now I want this to be pastel, so I'm also going to add some titanium dioxide. Alright, so this is thickening up. So we're going to spread it in. I'm going to use all of that. So that's kind of the color I went for. For a full one of those, it took about one. Now what I'm going to try to do is also bring it up the sides. Okay. Watch that. And we're going to try to get it as even as possible. So the top's going to be the bottom, so don't worry about your top so, oh, so much. You want it as even as possible. And we're going to mix up a little more of this to finish the top. Oops. Don't want any holes because the next color, I don't want it too thick around the edges. Thick enough to cover the next color, to hide the next color. So we want it to look like it's been frosted like with hopefully it looks like um, fondant. That's what I'm going for. And you will see how smooth it is. It's bubbly so it might not I might have to frost it again with cold process, which is fine. I will do that if I have to. So I'm just gonna, yeah, that didn't work. That kind of ruined what I was trying to do. So there's no banging down. You gotta get it right the first time you do it. busy house right now and you can when I film in the middle of the day you're gonna hear lots of traffic I hope I'm still gonna have a heart shape I don't know if I did very well with that I may have to carve my heart curve right there alrighty so I'm gonna fill that up so I'm not really worried about it what it's doing right there Alrighty, so let's do our next color. So the fragrance is really nice. I chose Peak Orchid and Amber from Nature's Garden. We'll see how it does. Next, I've got my fragrance oils, which I'm going to add a little bit of tapioca starch to, and my colorants. Yeah. 
helps to anchor the scent. I don't know why it works, but it does. Probably because it holds it in there. So we're going to do pink lemonade from Steph's Micas. That up first. I really want to get that. And I want it to be pastel, so we're going to add a little bit of TD, which is also going to thin it up, I hope. There we go, that's perfect. Now, of course, it's going to thicken, and it's all right that there's a little bit of the white in there. And then I've mixed Radically Red and Ruby Red in this one. Hopefully we'll get a nice pink again when I add a bit of TD. So I'm not going for a rose color, I just want a really good pink, and those reds mixed together are glorious. All right, and we want it stripey like that, so we're going to just plunk, 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 all over it, and then I'll mix them up a little bit in the bowl, in the mold. Hopefully, this will end up being gorgeous. We'll see. Let's see what my sliced bars look like. Just give this a tap down. Scrape these out. I'll be right back. Alright, next I'm going to do a mica line. So I'm going to use chocolate brown from Condora Soap. Let's see if I can use my tiny sieve. Let's see how well this works. One I will be using. Yeah, it didn't work so good. So I just have to. Hmm. Hold on. Oh, I got a really thick mica line there because I was having trouble with my filter. I can find my itty bitty one, so oh well. We do our last color, and this soap is piping hot. Hopefully, we won't have separation, but I don't know what's going to happen. We'll see. All right, so another teaspoon of Steph's Micas. Sorry, and everyone's going nuts because the sun is out. You're going to hear my neighbors. <laughs> I managed to soap in the daytime. I did about the, the sunshine. Now this is the bottom, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Oop! But it doesn't need to be on my countertop either. Ooh, that's hot. Hot stuff. I need to get some whisks, some tiny little whisks, so it would be nice. A little bit of TD in there. I really hope this stays like light blue and doesn't look green, but that's okay if it's green. Looking for 
for like a teal color. Almost a baby blue, but not quite. I want to cover that mica line, but not destroy it and push it down. Alright, so hopefully we'll have a heart-shaped cake. I will be beveling the bottom, most likely. And there we go. every little drop and I will be decorating this with cherry blossoms and branches next that'll be tomorrow or the next day depends on how hard the soap sets up all right we'll see you in a little bit Let's see how easy it is to unmold from a metal pan. I haven't done this in a very long time. We're going to have some wrinkles, I'm sure. Let's see. Let's go here. So this is frozen. Pop it in the freezer. We could have a shape of a heart. find myself a silicone mold, I think, when I do this again. We're going to have an awful lot of, of piping and stuff to do for this one before I can finish it. So why don't you come back for the piping and we will make this beautiful. So we're going to do, I think my icing starting to get ready, so I'm going to start putting in my colors and we're going to start decorating. All right, so that should be enough for all the brown. So I'm gonna get my colors and just mix it up. So I went to Candora Soap and I found this beautiful brown. Now I want this um, Sakura cake to be beautiful. So these are the branches and we're just gonna mix in some of this colorant. And hopefully, make a nice dark, dark, dark brown. All right. As soon as I've got that mixed up, I might add a little bit of charcoal just to make it darker. Ooh, that's pretty. I think that's going to be just right. Now I'm not going to mix it too much because I want a little bit of that woody look. So I want a little bit of stripes. That's why I'm just doing this by hand. Just a tiny bit more to keep. make that big. Alright, so I'm going to stir that in a little bit more. I don't want any actual clumps, but I do want Piece, if that makes any sense so that this looks like tree branches. So let's start piping this on the Sakura cakes. So
see how it just kind of goes everywhere? Let's see the sides. Just blow it on. All right, now we're gonna place the flowers everywhere. I made these out of soap dough. And I make sure I'm gonna get two or three on every flower. And I'm touching them with the brown, so I'm gonna just take that off. You know, that. I want these to fall off, so I want one on the top, one in the middle. I'm trying to think of um, I'm also gonna pipe some pink flowers in here too. In little clusters, maybe. I, th I bet this isn't enough. It may be enough, I don't know. Let's see. So in Victoria, right now, it's the blossom count. And we take our blossom count very seriously. So it's broadcast on the radio. And um, people send in their, their numbers. <laughs> Cherry blossoms in Victoria, when they start to fall, which is right now, it's like a second winter. It's like it's snowing everywhere. Just going to make sure we got them. Can't see back here. So when I cut this, want to make sure that every piece has plenty of flowers. And if they fall off, then I want them to have more. I'm going to do some clusters. The remaining flowers. Because that's a lot of them actually look which is fantastic. Just want to make sure as many as I've got because I've got a lot. I just sat and made these one day just all day long. I made the blossoms for this cake. So exciting. Alright, so I'm going to let that sit and I'm going to pipe this into <laughs> some other design. Um, let's see how this looks in the morning. 